Question nine is a very common type of question on uh, probability distributions. Uh, we'll talk about the second part of this um, later, but the first part is a normal distribution. It tells you it's distributed normally. We'll have a look at the second part when we get onto it and how that extends that work. Um, when we've got a normal distribution question, I would strongly advise that the first things you do are you write down the distribution of the variables. So we know that x is distributed normally. The mean, it tells us, is 260. And the standard deviation, 15. So the normal distribution is 260, 15 squared. Remember, it's the variance we put in there. There's no need to square 15. You can just write it as 15 squared. That's a very common thing to do. Um, the second thing to do is to do your normal distribution graph sketch. And I'm hoping yours will look a lot better than mine. Um, doing it digitally is not that easy. Make a note that sigma is 15 and make a note that the middle value mu, the central value there, is 260. OK, uh, a flight is considered, considered late if it takes longer than 275 minutes. So 275 is greater than 260. So we'll put a line here for 275. Um, that's our x value. And it says calculate the probability the flight is not late. So it's late if it takes longer than seven, 275 minutes. And we're trying to calculate that it's not late. So we want the probability it takes less than 275 minutes. So that's that probability there. If you do all that, it should be fairly straightforward how to get the answer. So that's part A. Part B, uh, a little more challenging. Um, but again, we've got the same probability distribution, so we don't need to write that out again. Um, but we should do another sketch so we can have a look at the graph. Again, sigma is 15 and the mean is 260. Right, now we know from part A what the probability is here because this region is the answer to A minus 0 0.5. Why is it minus 0 0.5? Well, if we go back to A, this bit here is 0 0.5. Okay, that's the bit shaded both ways, is 0 0.5 because of the symmetry of the graph. So if we get our answer to A, subtract 0 0.5, that gives us that answer. M is down here somewhere. How do we know it's down here and not that side? Well, the probability is, is greater than 0 0.5, so we have to go beyond the mean. It has to go both sides of the mean. Um, so you know that this area here is um, 0 0.830. Sorry, that's not very good eight there. Minus A minus 0 0.5. Okay, so that gives you that area there, and then you can solve um, to find M.